Hello and welcome to Dynamic Arrays 1. This is the first in a three-part series where we're unpacking dynamic arrays. Let's just jump right in. Here's the big picture. We can write a formula, and when that formula returns multiple values, those values will spill out of the formula cell and into the adjacent cell. This depends on the version of Excel that you're using, so depending on when you're watching this and what Excel version you're using, um, this will determine if you have this dynamic arrays with the spill range. So to get started, we're going to write a formula that returns multiple values. Specifically, we're going to write a formula that returns a unique list of the accounts in the account column. So we go equals unique. Now, this is a quick test to, to you can use to see if your version of Excel supports dynamic arrays, is type equals and then the first few letters of the word unique. And if you get the unique function, then your version of Excel supports this capability. So we're going to tell the unique function that we want a unique list of the values in this range. So we select the range. It's the entire account column. And then we close the function and hit Enter. And as you can see, that formula returned multiple values. Those values spilled out of the formula cell and into the adjacent cells. This is called the spill range. So this is an array. Array is a techie term, right? Multiple values. And it's a dynamic array because we can add a new value down here like internet. And when we do, it automatically appears up here. Um, the unique function just uses the order that these values appear in the table. If I wanted to sort them, what I can do is I can just wrap the sort function around the unique function. And when I hit enter, that's going to be sorted in alphabetical order. All right. So again, this is our first warm up uh, with dynamic arrays. This is the first in a three part series. So um, hey, hopefully this helps. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.